So wireless earbuds are kind of a dime a dozen, and especially when it comes to enterprise focus earbuds, those are a bit boring. But this year at CS 2023, Poly, which is now owned by HP, is doing a few really interesting things with its new Voyager Free 60 Plus Buds. Let's check them out. Now the first thing you'll notice is that unlike pretty much every other pair of wireless earbuds on the market, Poly's new earbuds have a screen built into the case. Not everybody needs a screen on their wireless earbuds, but I do like it because it makes it easy to see things like charge level, pairing status, and then if we go over here, you can see, once again, battery status. This is more features buttons. You can uh, adjust volume, Bluetooth connectivity, and there's even a dedicated QR code which helps you streamline the setup process so you can easily download the app and set up the buds, which you will need to access all of the features. Now, if you open it up, you'll see the design is kind of like your AirPods. You have touch sensitive controls on the side built into the stem, and you have multiple ear pads for different size ears. You'll also notice that they support Bluetooth audio, but you can also have a dedicated dongle for connecting to laptops or desktops, which I really like. And there will be versions that support both USB type A dongles and USB type C dongles. So no matter what kind of laptop you have, there will be one that works for your system. Another thing that I really like is that it remembers pairing with up to eight devices at once, and you can be simultaneously paired with two devices. So you can easily switch between your phone or your laptop, depending on where you're making video calls or whatever. But my favorite little party trick is that in back, this thing supports both wireless Qi charging and wireless charging via USB-C. However, if you're on a plane or something like that where you need a traditional 3.5 millimeter jack, Poly's Buds come with a cord where you can plug this USB-C into the back, and then you have a traditional 3.5 millimeter jack in front, and then this turns the case into a wireless transmitter sort. So you can watch movies on the plane without having to bring a completely separate pair of wired headphones. Now, the one obvious downside is that because of the built-in screen and some of the more advanced features, this case is a little bit big. If you compare it to my standard Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro 2, you can see there's obviously a huge difference in size. That said, if you like some of the features of Poly's Buds, but don't really care about that built-in screen, there will be a standard version of the Voyager Free 60s, the non-plus version, that doesn't come with a screen, but you still get support for multi-device pairing and a dedicated dongle if you want it. Between the built-in screen, the multi-device pairing, and the ability to plug in wired 3.5 millimeter audio sources, I really like what Poly is doing with the Voyager Free 60 Plus earbuds. That said, starting at around $300, and the price might change, they still haven't finalized it for sure, but starting at around $300, these things are definitely more on the expensive side, but that kind of makes sense when you're talking about a more commercial enterprise focused product. But I do think some of these new features are really interesting, and I do want to check them out more when the buds go on sale sometime Q2 this year, 2023. And for more coverage of CES, Stay tuned to Engadget for more news, hands-ons, and videos.